Hello viewer, welcome to my channel. My name is One Environment. We are going to show you today what we have so far done. This is a brushless DC motor, 200 watts. It's around 200 watts. So I'm going to drive this brushless motor with this uh, adapter. The adapter, let us see if you can see, the output is 48 volts. 48 volts at 3 amps maximum. So the UPS is going to power it. And uh, we are going to see if it can carry this uh, three phase alternator. It is a permanent magnet alternator. I've uh, shown it in my earlier video. But uh, in my earlier video, it was a manual test I showed. So now I'm going to drive it with this small motor. So let us see if it can drive it. Then we are going to use a multimeter to see the outcome. Then we have uh, a lamp here that we are going to use to test the output, whether it can carry load. If at all, it moves this motor. Now, we also will know at what RPM does it, uh, the maximum RPM that is reached. So if it deliver any useful uh, voltage and current, we're going to know the RPM. We're going to read the RPM, take the reading of the RPM. And uh, I think uh, that's all. So for now, this is a three-phase uh, permanent magnet alternator. So RPM is a very big question in a uh, fuelless energy now the length of your wire is i mean the voltage that comes out is directly proportional to the length of your wire and also directly proportional to the strength of the magnetic field is also directly proportional to the gap the air gap that is that exists between your rotor and the starter winding so if, in case you are not hearing what i'm saying i will put the description down below so check and leave your comments if you have any comment if you have any question i'll be glad to attend to it so just put them down in your comments you can also call my number 80 Again, if you are outside Nigeria, plus 23480, plus 23480, double three, double one, zero seven, double five. I will always also leave my contact number in the description below. And I will also leave link to my previous uh, video that we show manually the performance of this uh, three-phase alternator now all said then let's go to current current is directly proportional to the size the size of the winding wire the wire that you, the copper wire in your starter so your current the current you get at the end of the day is determined by the size the thickness of your wire so if you reduce if you reduce that thickness your rpm may increase that is you reduce the thickness that means the length of your wire will increase because you have limited space in your starter core so let's go for the test let's on the Is reading zero at seven fifty AC volt. So because the generated voltage is AC. So now let's on the UPS. 
the UPS is on. The motor has just started. Yeah, it's moving it. Ah, uh, the light is coming out anyway. It's moving it. It moves it. The light is coming up. It's bright. So let's go to the the voltage. 220. 220. So now let us see the RPM of the driving motor and the alternator. I think it is clear. The RPM of the driving motor is 2024. 2024. Now, the RPM of the motor One thousand six hundred and forty seven. One thousand six hundred and forty seven. So you have the votes very stable, two twenty. And look at it. That's the motor driving it. So if I couple this for it, you guys will note that I didn't even couple the alternator, I just put it on the on the desk like that because of the weight although this one has this bracket to hold it to the to the desk so it's stable very stable no noise nothing environmentally friendly guys this is it 